In Hernando County, deputies say a shooting suspect led them on a high-speed pursuit on his motorcycle. Less than an hour later, law enforcement caught the man at a home in Spring Hill. News Channel's Justin Checker live there tonight with the latest on the investigation. Justin. Keith and Stacy, good evening to you both. As you can see, the Hernando County Sheriff's Office forensic unit is still at this home on Arcadia Avenue where that high-speed pursuit ended. Deputies tell eight on your side the suspect drove his motorcycle right into the open garage over here before coming outside to find a large law enforcement response waiting for him. Tonight, Hernando County Sheriff's detectives are trying to figure out why a suspect fired one or more shots at the scene of a traffic crash. Nobody was injured by the gunfire. It happened around 1240 this afternoon by the shopping plaza near the intersection of Mariner and Cortez Boulevards. Deputies say the suspect may not have even been involved in the crash. But as a deputy arrived, the sheriff's office says he put out a handgun and started shooting before taking off on his motorcycle. The sheriff's office says the suspect led deputies and Florida Highway Patrol troopers in a high-speed pursuit. The HCSO aviation unit took the lead in following the suspect about 13 miles to this home on Arcadia Avenue in Spring Hill. Deputies say the suspect drove his motorcycle into an open garage. They took him into custody for an interview after he exited the home. And at this hour, we're still waiting to learn the identity of the suspect from the shooting in high-speed pursuit. Deputies also haven't announced any charges as their investigation continues. We're live tonight in Hernando County. I'm Justin Shecker, 8 on your side.